Shalom, shalom. We give all praise to Yahweh Bashimia Shai. We give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, the Shalakim, Wazakwanyam, the apostles and the elders, uh, uh, Wala Bakarium, La Yasha Allah, to the elect of the nation of Israel, Bahashem, Rakwa Kadash, and the Holy Spirit. Barakatham to you. It's your brother Shaman Ma from the DC camp. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Shimei Want to bring out a few scriptures. Want to continue on a series of the true disciples of Yahweh Shai. Putting Yahweh Shai first in all things. That's the discipline. The discipline is to follow Yahweh Shai first in all things. Let's get the first scripture. John 14, start at 15. This in red letters, Yahweh Shai, as you can see, says, If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray to Father, and he should give you another comforter, that you may be, that you may abide that may that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But you know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Now the spirit of truth is Yahweh Shah. He is also the comforter. Right here, Yahweh Shah said in his own words, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Verse 18 says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come with you. Yet a little while the world seeth me no more, but you see me because I live. You shall live also. At that day, you shall know that I am in my father and ye in me and I in you. He that have, com have my commandments and keep them, he is it that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of the my father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. He's going to show you who he is, your purpose, his purpose, the ones who keep and follow, the ones who love Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the heavenly father, Yahweh Shai being the only begotten son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus. Verse 22 says, Judas said unto him, not Iscariot, though, not the traitor, Lord, how is it that thou will manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Wait a minute. I thought Yahweh Shai came for the whole world. That's not true. Even Judas knew this because Israel knew that the Messiah was for Israel. Yahweh Shai answered him and said, if you love me, he will keep my words and my father will love him and we will continue unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings. The word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. This is the beginning of the path of being a true disciple. First, you have to love the Lord and believe with faith, with all your heart. Hear the word and follow. Hear the word and teach. Hear the word and do. This is the true saying. This is how you know the company is abiding with you. This is how you know that the Lord is supping with you because he's in you. And it takes discipline. This is Psalms 119. I'm going to start at two. It says, Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. Not some of the heart, all the heart. And the testimonies is of Yahweh Shai. They also do no iniquity. Iniquity is sins. They walk in all his ways, in his ways. Thou should command us 
Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts, precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respected, or when I have respect unto all the commandments. I will rise thee up in uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. This is walking in the path. When I learn, and how you learn? Through men, through thy precepts, thy get understanding. I would keep thy statutes, it says, and forsake me not utterly. This is this is King David speaking, right? Wherewithal, or how shall a man, young man cleanse his ways? By taking, by taking heed according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee, O let me not wander from thy commandments. Wander is following out some other way. Having another discipline. You watch the karate movies. You watch the kung fu flicks. The discipline was of that teacher. And what did schools do against schools? Challenge not the actual men. It was the teachings or their, uh, what, what, what they call it, their style. This is their discipline, how they were educated. You're not challenging uh, the person. You're challenging the word of the Lord by walking under some other discipline. Your hands are too short, like the old saying goes. Thy word have hid me, had hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. And this is the point. Teach me your ways. Your love is in your ways. Your love is in your laws. Your love is in your commandments. The Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments. This is James. Chapter 2, verse 17. It says, Even so faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. With these instructions, with this discipline, the only way you can keep the ways, these laws and these statutes, to be stead, unmovable, is with faith. The Lord gives you that faith so you can be steadfast, so you can have that uh, uh, hedge around you, so that you may be protected, that you could pursue and move in the same direction as others before you, how you were taught. Being a follower means to conform to, understand and grasp what's being taught and accept it. These only these things to be a follower, to be disciplined, to have discipline, it comes from the Lord. This faith that you must have to accompany the works must come from the Lord. You can't get it for yourself. You can't buy it. You can't make yourself of the elect. You can't make yourself saved. You can't uh, uh, you can't do this on your own. This is a teaching uh, uh, and 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 a gift to those. people true students and, and, and pupils. Verse 18 say, Yeah, if a man say that I have faith and I have works, show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works, what I do, what you see, my fruits. This is how you show, this is how you show a person your faith, by what you do, how disciplined you are. Your mouth, your thoughts, your actions. You learn the whole Bible. Then you go out and sleep with your man's uh, girl. You, you, you didn't understand anything that was going on. If you're not going uh, and, and, and actually reading the book, you don't understand what's going on.
jump down to 21. It says, was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered up Isaac, his son, upon the altar? See if thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled which saith, Abraham believed the Most High Yahweh, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of Yahweh. He believed because he had faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. He had faith in what he was taught. He took hold of it with his whole mind, body, and soul, as the scriptures say. This is a true following of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. Putting Yahweh Shai first in all things that you do. Let's get this Acts 7 and 37. This is that Moses which said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall the Lord your power raise up unto you your brethren like unto me. Him shall you hear. That prophet is Yahweh Shah that Moses spoke about. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spake to him in the Mount Sinai and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give to us. To whom our father would not obey but thrust him from them and in their heart turn back again into Egypt. Unrighteous, undisciplined people saying unto Aaron, make us gods to go before us. See, they want to follow, but they wanted to follow wicked ways. For as for, as for this Moses, which brought us out, in the, out of the land of Egypt, we want not what has become of him. Because remember, when he was in Mount Sinai, he was there for a long season. They wanted someone to follow. Our people are followers because they're sheep. That's why they call them, that's why the Lord calls us the lost sheep. Lord, sheep always follow. But you follow wickedness or you follow righteousness. And they made a calf in those days and offered sacrifice unto idols and rejoiced in the works of their own hands. Then Yahweh turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets, O ye Israel, have you offered have you offered to me slain beasts and sacrificed it by the space of 40 years in the wilderness? Yea, you took up the tabernacle of Molech and the star of your, of your god Rimpham, figures which you made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. And this is what he has done because of our wicked folly, our undisciplinedness. We are followers, but we have to follow great men, follow the disciplines of Yahweh Shai, and put him first. You always must ask yourself, what will Yahweh Shai do? What will Paul do? What did Jeremiah do? What did Ezekiel do? What did Habakkuk do? Our fathers had the tabernacle, verse 44, in the wilderness, as he had appointed, speaking unto Moses, that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Joshua into the possession of the of the Gentiles, whom Yahweh drave out before the face of our fathers unto the days of David. And the reason why I express Joshua instead of this word Jesus, because this is who it's speaking about. It's speaking about Joshua before the days who 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 um, who uh, drove out the uh, uh, drove out the Gentiles. This is Joshua that's talking about, but it says Jesus here, so that goes to show you that Jesus, who the world called Jesus, his real name is Yahweh His name would have been Joshua in the English, but his but Joshua's name is Yahweh He, Yah, Yahweh deliverer. This is what this verse is talking about, Acts 7 and 45. When, that, when you see that word Jesus, 
It's supposed to be Yahushua. In this verse, you know it's speaking about Joshua. So you got to take that up. So just like as Joshua did, we followed him. What did Joshua do? What did he say? For as me and my house, we will follow the Lord. We're not following the gods of this, of this land. Because remember, they was going into the land. And the land already had many gods. Joshua said, as far as me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Let's get that. I think that's Joshua uh, 20, 24, Khan. Joshua 24 and 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. This is every day in the, this is every day in the, in the, in the Israelites' mind. Choose you this day who you're going to serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites or the gods of Esau or the gods of Moab or the gods of the Hamites. In whose land you dwell, wherever you may be, you could be in China, Germany, America, Switzerland, Mexico, whatever God, whatever land you in. Right? Choose who you're going to serve. But Joshua said, Yahweh said, But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh This is supposed to be in your mind constantly. What God are you serving? What God are you following? Are you putting Yahweh first in all the things, in all your thoughts, in all your ways, in all your disciplines? In all your education and treatment to correct yourself and to correct others? Are you putting your Hawashah first? Come, we give all praise to Yah Bashim Yahushah for these lessons. Hopefully it was edifying. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Zaquanya. Peace and shalom to the elect that's pushing this word throughout throughout uh, the throughout the whole globe in sincerity and truth for the edification and uh, Adawada, the house of David. This your brother Shaman Moff again. Shalom.